This is, this is awesome what I'm fixing to show you. So in James chapter 1, verse 1, James, a bondservant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now understand, James is the pastor of the church. Now let me read this next one. To the 12 tribes scattered abroad. He just lost his church. Persecution hit his church because of people like Saul. Christians were dying. People were being killed. And his church dispersed throughout the world. They lost everything. He's a pastor, and he's writing them a letter as a pastor to his church members who are leaving their homes in fear of their lives. Do you think this is an appropriate letter? Do you think that what he said here is important? Yes. I do. It's very important. Yes. He's fixing to say something, and it's not just a, a cute, little saying now he's talking to people who just lost everything and he's going to teach them how to get it back he's going to teach them Satan may have attacked you and taken everything but I'm going to show you how to how to get in the presence of God and so that his, all of this persecution against you and this poverty that's come will stop in its tracks. Now, now, he's not just writing a cute letter. My brethren, church members, men and women of God, listen as your pastor. I know that what you just went through is tough, but I'm going to give you the wisdom of God. Count it all joy. In other words, don't allow the circumstance to change your face. Don't allow the circumstance to change your faith in God. But this is powerful. Count it all joy, guys. Even though you just lost everything, when you fall into various temptations, tests, and trials, the Amplified says, when all hell breaks loose against you, this is the way you need to respond to the attack of the enemy upon your soul. You count it joy. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. Joy is powerful. Satan cannot stand in the presence of God. And when you are worshiping God, he is, he, whatever he's coming against you has to stop because you've created a barrier around you that says you can come this far and you can't come anymore. You may have taken my car. You may have taken my house, but you ain't taking me down. I'm going to tell you right now, you may have hit me and knocked me down, but like Rocky, I'm getting back up because the joy of the Lord is my strength and right now I'm going to rejoice in the Lord I'm gonna get happy in Jesus and you're not gonna continue stealing from me 